Well, no organized areas of low pressure today or tropical systems or anything like that, but we do have a couple things going on. We got a couple tropical waves, actually, one back here towards Chuuk, another one just passing over Yap and Plow. Boy, it's been raining there for uh, continuously for several days here, and we're still kind of looking at this overall flow pushing in across the southern half of the Philippines, creating scattered showers out there for you. And then at the same token, you have the flip side of the coin, um, basically the Westpac High dominating uh, North northern areas of the Philippines means the heat is going to be on over the next few days into parts of Luzon and then north of that is the rainy season front that separation of cooler air over Siberia retreating as the West Pack High builds in uh, so that's bringing rainfall for western areas of Japan Okinawa and southeastern areas of China so yeah one two three you basically have the easterlies the West Pack High separating that from the rainy season front now as far as the easterlies are concerned uh, do, do we have the chance of a tropical system well the gfs continues to want to throw something at the wall here uh basically at the end of may it, it, yesterday it was showing something developing out here towards the south and east of okinawa today it's showing something in the west philippine sea the point with that is yeah the ecmwf has been showing nothing um, the GFS has been trying to develop something, basically a tropical wave south of uh, Guam. It, nothing is confident. Uh, the, even the model that has been picking something up is all over the place. So with that said, I, I wouldn't be the most terribly concerned at this time. Granted, yeah, you know, we're heading through May. The fifth latest name storm on record. It was May 24th back in 2024. So you know we're almost getting the record-breaking uh, territory for as far as late uh -ness with uh, developing storm systems lateness does that make sense i'm not quite sure but i hope you understand so um yeah that we're going to continue to monitor out here at least for the time being monday and tuesday you can see this right here a tropical wave pushing over the philippines scattered shower especially along the east coast and then it stays dry back here towards northern areas of Luzon. all this flows around gets kind of picked up with the monsoonal flow and that's what gets steered into our rainy season front back towards the north and here's a look at total rainfall accumulations get an idea of where the heaviest of that precipitation is going to be basically along the east coast of mindanao but yeah there could be some spots in the mountains there that may see as much as 50 to 100 millimeters but you see the demarcation line where the west pack high is and then once you head back towards the north here into luzon it is it's a lot lot drier just due to the position of that high pressure area so yeah the heaviest of the precipitation will be down here further towards the south if you have any questions though please let me know comment box is down below i always want to stress i am not an official agency and I, and I love your guys's comments I appreciate it um, but uh, for those that watch every single one of my video updates you know that I, I really tried to point that out um, make sure you get your local information from the people that are there on the ground who can give you the best information especially in the event of a natural disaster or anything like that so yeah if you have any questions though please let me know um, number one thing is yeah stay uh, stay safe out there friends I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, all right?